Yo, what is up guys? I'm Dan. I'm back with another craft brew review. It's time. Card Horse from Old Nation Brewing. I cheated already, guys. I already poured her out. I did a little experiment in my last video, and I thought it was appropriate now to do Card Horse solely by itself. I have not done one by itself. Um, I had Card Horse about a year ago, and I have not had one since. Okay, straight to appearance, guys. Um, the head that came on this kind of was uh, Dawn Soapy. It wasn't very, very white. It was a little bit darker white, and the bubbles kind of subsided, and then I see some bigger bubbling on the top. Uh, kind of towards the middle and then smaller bubbles out towards the edge and that did go away but what I'm getting is that Dawn Soapy really just stick into the glass kind of look to it um, that head really just sticks around with that creaminess in there and uh, it kind of just goes away unless you slosh it around so nothing too 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 crazy on this head here um, again just kind of like the Dawn Soap bubbles uh, and then a little bit more frothiness inside it uh, appearance compared to the rest of Old Nation uh, Dippa's uh, New England style regular single IPAs uh, this one definitely is darker it's very obvious that this is a ton darker than the rest of their beers what you have here is this dirty 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 dark um, murky orange that actually almost looks like it could have a little bit of a brown in it. It almost has like a tiny, tiny hint of brown in it. I don't have the best lighting in this room. I uh, can't do my dang reviews outside anymore, so that's a bummer. But what you have is this murky, dark, dirty orange is what you're left with. So um, let's go to the nose. You do get a nice, nice sweetness up front. Uh, that's a, definitely like a, a, not quite sugar, but uh, a real nice sweetness that, that hits you up front. And uh, you do get a little bit of uh, bitterness, but you do, again, have that dirty kind of orange thing. They, they do have that, that citrus, and I do get some grapefruit. I do get some, you know, kind of orange rind, tangerine-ish kind of thing in there. But, yeah, it's not quite the same as, like, an M43 or a Boss Tweed. It's definitely... a, a slightly different path that they took here um, kind of more orangey is what I get out of it still decent juiciness not quite as juicy as the others but definitely that sweet malty um, yeasty breadiness that comes right up front to your nose so anyways let's go for a drink cheers guys Right up front, there's a sweetness, and it's definitely got some citrusness in there. You get a little bit of grapefruit. Um, but I do seem to get kind of like a tangerine thing inside there. But it's got a certain dirty, dank quality to it that really um, blends together with um, a little bit of acidity and um, bitterness. So this one seems to be you know, slightly bitter than the rest of them. Um, kind of more beerish, if you will. It's the bitterness is it's definitely cut out, but not quite like Boss Tweet or M43. There's a little bit more bitterness and dryness on the back of my palate that kind of uh, dries me out after I swallow it. You know, it kind of goes away, subsides, and that sweetness goes away, and you're left with a little bit of bitterness and that riny um, orange peel kind of thing. Yeah, it's it's a it's really enjoyable beer, really. Uh, if you're looking for a New England style, this one's really really solid. These guys do it really well. There's no secret about Old Nation. They kind of catapulted the New England style in Michigan. Um, M43 was the godfather for them. I would say they were actually struggling um, really badly. Old Nation was, and I've read numerous articles. I've talked to the head brewer there and. That is kind of what changed the game for them. It catapulted them to success, and it really changed the game up for Michigan and Old Nation. You know, it just it set a new standard for New England styles. Um, 
if you're looking from a brewing standpoint, I have a good friend who's a master brewer, and he does not like New England styles from Old Nation. Um, he just he claims that they're they they just aren't finished products. He claims they're just not finished. That they're they're just they're just not left in the tank long enough. Um, and the, and the residual sweetness is much too high. He said it, he said it should yield much lower. Um, and we had a big debate about it, guys. But at the end of the day, whether he's correct or not, um, you know, people like the beer. They like Old Nation. And the, the crowd is, they're really just begging for it because it's its drawn a new crowd, really. The, the younger kids, now even younger than myself, um, catapult themselves towards Old Nation. They, they like this stuff. And, and, you know, you're so overwhelmed with this crazy citrus, this crazy hot profile, this crazy aroma. And we're just becoming more and more accepting of beers that are, are hazy and over the top, blow your palate out kind of thing. If you have one or two of these and you have another beer, I guarantee your palate's not going to adjust well. This just overtakes your palate and it really flaws everything the rest of the night if you plan to have another beer. And that's the God honest truth. I've done it so many times that I can't even tell you guys. I mean, anyways, I'm going on a tangent. The point is people love this stuff. Um, it is a little bit sweet, and, and it's overly sweet even for my palate, but if you're looking for a really, really good New England-style IPA, Old Nation, they do it well. You're not going to go wrong, guys. None of my friends dislike Old Nation beer. That's the facts. Uh, if I had to rate it, I'm going... Four point zero seven to be very specific, out of five. Um... I wish there was a little bit more citrus notes in it, and obviously that's probably not where they were going with this. They were going kind of a different route compared to M43, Boss Tweed, and uh, the other New England styles that they've done. So this is kind of a different route. I do like it for the fact that it brings a more beer, original beer feeling to my mouth. It's not just this crazy overwhelming sweetness, juice bomb. It does leave you with a little bit of bitterness, which reminds me, hey, I'm drinking a darn beer here, guys. So I will give it credit for that. It's a pretty darn good beer, guys. I have not rated an Old Nation beer under a 4 thus far. So I will be doing a brew tour coming up. Um, I'll update you guys on what I think about them and the whole process and if I have a better beer than I've ever had before in their tap room. If not, I'll let you know if I've had a terrible beer from their tap room. It's to be seen, guys. Anyways, I'm going to call it there, guys. I appreciate it if you're watching. And, of course, I will see you on the next one. I'm Dan. I'm over and out, guys. Cheers.